receiving and self-care. First of all, receiving is exactly the same as giving. It's two sides of the same coin, both hand, both sides of the same hand, if you will. So you actually can't have giving without receiving. Many of you think you're good givers and you're not good receivers, but that's actually not possible. You're not a good giver unless you're a good receiver. Your giving is capped at the ability of your receiving. And we know that because probably most of us have had occasions where we've overgiven. We've given at our financial expense, our emotional expense, our physical expense, our psychological expense, and we just gave and gave. And the fact is, it wasn't really that noble. We were giving to be appreciated in some way, to be to be liked or or to be significant or get something or to prevent from pre prevent ourselves from losing something, right? So receiving is receiving unconditionally, right? Just you 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 must learn to receive and offer nothing in return. So in a certain from a certain truth, your receiving is your giving. You're giving other people the opportunity to give fully and unconditionally. Um, uh, Receiving, let's say, is on the outside. You're accepting something from within, acknowledgement, money, appreciation, something like that. And then self-care is from the inside, right? You know, returning to those activities or hobbies or interests that give you joy or created bliss with you or, you know, were super um, enlivening in some way. You know, many of us gave up playing music or art or poetry or dancing or you know, any number of fun things, sports, athletics, uh, hobbies. Uh, we, gave, we gave that up because we had to grow up and get serious, right? But the problem is, it's important to take care of yourself. Put on your own oxygen mask first. If you're not in love and enjoy and peace and connected to the light, and you know, then you've really got nothing to offer anyone else. <laughs> if your life isn't working spectacularly, you've really got nothing to offer anyone else because then you're just some person whose life doesn't work telling other people how to live their lives. So self-care is critical. Receiving is critical. Uh, you teach others how to treat themselves by how you treat yourself. So as you up your self-care and up your, up your receiving, you give other people permission to do the same. Um, uh, receiving and self-care is balance. It's wholeness. Right, you, and you'll know that if you've ever overgiven, you'll know that receiving is a critical aspect of giving and taking care of oneself. Self-care is a critical aspect of being an agent of change and love and, and light in the world. Um, yeah, so you think you're a good giver now? Wait till you're a world-class receiver. Boom, all of a sudden your giving can go way to the next level. So I want you to feel into the truth of something. The world gets blessed when I receive. 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 Feel into the truth of that. Isn't it true that the more you get, the more you give? So receiving and self-care, critical aspect of being a sustainable leader, being a leader who can sustain themselves over time, receiving and self-care.